been a bit of a busy morning. It is Wednesday, November 3rd. It is my day home from the office. Dexter's playing. I, you will have seen, got my workout done this morning. I don't think I filmed taking either of the kids to school, but I did both drop-offs this morning, which there are two different schools now, two different times, so it's a lot. <laughs> but then I had to run to the grocery store after I dropped Wyatt off. His starts later than Austin's, so. I got him off to school and, oops, sorry, Eric is texting me. And, what was I gonna say? Oh, I went to the grocery store. We needed just a couple of things. We didn't do our normal weekly trip over the weekend, so. We just needed a couple of things for Mexican tonight. We are going to have, I'm not entirely sure what all. I know the kids will just want tacos. I kind of want nachos and then Eric wanted stuff for fajitas. So I think we're going to do, or I'm going to do fajita nachos because that sounds delicious. You will have seen my muffin. So found these at the store and I'm actually probably gonna have to reheat it it didn't get done all the way you microwave them so I was not crazy about that I didn't read the packaging and I just assumed you would put them in the oven to heat them I guess I probably could have but I just followed the directions and did a microwave and it did not get completely warm in the center but it's actually really good and the fact that there are veggies in here Maybe I can get Wyatt to eat them because he's not my good vegetable eater. <laughs> but this is a nice little uh, sweet treat, but not completely unhealthy, I suppose, because it has veggies in it. And it's letting me have something sweet with my coffee and stay out of the Halloween candy. Is anyone else struggling? Because I'm struggling. But I thought it would be a fun day to vlog. I have just some stuff going on around the house, laundry, totally boring stuff. Um, but I'm going to do some whip evaluation today. So this month, pause, for a sip of coffee and the pitter patter of little Dexter feet. See you after, Dexter. He's got his bone, okay. So this month, Lindsay of Sockwitchery and I have like decided we are going to try to get as many of our works in progress off the needles as we can before December 1st. We both have different types of like Advent things coming um, that we plan to knit and work on during the month of December. And it just will feel really nice to clear some needles before December starts. So I finished my shellography. I'll show that here in just a bit. And I'm almost done with a pair of socks. So, so far I feel like I'm doing pretty well. It's just, can I keep up the motivation and can I not cast anything new on? But I also wanna go through some of my older works in progress because I feel like I'm going to frog at least one of them. So I thought that would be fun to do in the vlog today. I won't talk about that too much yet. I'll just chat with y'all about it probably when Dexter takes a little nap. So I am going to finish this muffin and my coffee and I'm gonna finish this sock. work in progress off the needles in November. It feels really great. A lot, these were mostly done though, I will say. So I didn't have too much more to do on this pair. 
but I'm happy that they're done. This is the Crazy Sock Lady colorway by Kimber's Cozy Creations. It's a sock set with a pink mini. And these are gonna be back in stock. This she dyed exclusively for Crazy Sock Lady Co. So this is gonna be back in stock Friday. This Friday, the 5th, correct? Yes, I don't have a time. I don't really think I'm gonna be one to do updates that like, oh, this will be in the shop this date, this time, just because I don't wanna create a mad rush. Keep an eye out on Instagram stories i will announce when it is updated there's quite a bit of stuff going into the shop this week so that's super exciting um this will be one of them there's going to be mini uh sock sets excuse me with pink minis sock sets with black mini just single skeins and everything's available in fingering weight and dk weight so very excited to have this back in stock i know so many of you have been asking me when this will be back in stock. So Friday is the day. Okay, I think, let me grab my shawlography. <laughs> I don't know why I find that word so difficult to say. I'm going to show you it and then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and block it while I'm here today and have the time. I think you are, is a little bit crooked. Slightly maybe. Okay, let me grab it. So if you have not finished it, all the clues are out. If you have not finished it, you don't want to be spoiled. Don't watch um, for a while. I don't know. <laughs> but it is done. It's still a bit crazy for me, I'll be honest. Um, mostly just this section right in here with all the I-cord loops and welts and bobbles it's just a bit crazier than something I would like see and choose to do for myself but it is super cool the process was so much fun and I'm gonna say it again and I know somebody complained last time that I said process knitter one too many times or way too many times I think they said but I'm a process knitter and I'll say it as many times as I want so yeah the process was fun um I really like all the stripes i felt like they were never going to end but i did like all of the stripes so yeah it's done it definitely needs blocked out i think it'll grow quite a bit you can find all of the details on my ravelry project page which i will link down below let's go block this Dexter outside right now and it smells like fall out here. I think that somebody must be burning leaves today, which we need to do. We need to clean up these leaves, but I've been doing some looking through. Oh, do you guys hear the fire trucks? We live right in town, so you can hear them pretty well. But let's head back in. I think Dexter is done and we will talk about whips. I've been looking through a lot of my works in progress. There's the burn barrel where we will burn the leaves. Come on, Dex. Okay, we're 
we're gonna talk about whips. Oh my goodness. So I was just sitting here thinking that I was recording and I was not, but now we are. Um, the dishwasher is running. Sorry, if you can hear that, it just is what it is. And there's nothing that I can do about it. It needs to be ran. And Dexter is awake. I did not plan to record talking about whips when he was awake, but I got distracted by doing some things and he is now awake. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, yes, so my shawlography is downstairs blocking. I didn't get a video of it all spread out, but I'll show it when it is off the blocking mats. But you will have seen, so I had this. Dexter, you're such a good helper. I had this on the table downstairs, <laughs> as well as my Pierre shawl, which I had just barely started either of these. This is the star blanket, and then the Pierre shawl. Both are Stephen West patterns. I love both of the patterns. I just, this I haven't touched in ages. Um, I have no desire to work on it. So, and I wasn't happy with how the Pierre shawl was working up. So I'm frogging both of them. Actually, I'm not even gonna worry about frogging this, but I did frog the Pierre shawl because I would love to attempt the bubble cardigan with the yarn I was going to use for the Pierre shawl. I just need to check and see if the minis I was gonna use is going to be enough. Um, but I'm not even gonna worry about frogging that. I just need to go through Ravelry now and update those two project pages as frogged. Um, I have four projects that I brought over here. So, <laughs> just some things that I'm, because now I finished the two works in progress that I was like focusing on, Shawlography and Crazy Sock Lady Socks. So I went through all of my works and project bags, kind of looked through them. Am I still going to finish these? Do I still like them, etc. And you can see all of my works in progress on my Ravelry project pages. So this project is left over from Advent season last year. I was using up bits from my Advent calendars and doing five rounds per color on these socks. I have one sock done. It looks a mess because it's been shoved in this project bag for almost a year. <laughs> but one is done. The second one is past the heel. And I do have, I think the reason I never finished this is because this was all that was left maybe to add into this project. I can't remember honestly why I didn't finish these. It's kind of ridiculous that it's just the foot, but I do have three um, leftover bits in there that I can add. And then I, so I think I'm going to work on these and then just go ahead and grab any leftovers I can find or just a leftover and finish off the foot in the toe and just call it good and be done and move on with my knitting life because these have been on the needles for way too long. So these are finished, but I just thought I would show them. Lots of ends to weave in on that um, pair. Yes, the first sock, the ends are already woven in. Second sock, those will need woven in, but it's fine. I'll just sit down for 30 minutes of knitting in the morning and probably knock the whole sock out within my 30 minutes of knitting. The whole sock meaning weaving in the ends. Okay, in this bag, I still have a pair of socks that I cast on for summer sock camp. These are the Desert Vista Dye Works Summer Sock Camp colorway, and I'm doing heel toe do -si do And I don't know why I haven't worked on these, <laughs> but I think I'm going to, oh my goodness, Dexter, what you doing? I think I'm going to take them, take one sock off of here. I have an extra sock needle here, Magic Loop. And I'm gonna take one off and I'm gonna do them one at a time because I kind of think that's been the hold up with these. I like two at a time, but I think I like two at a time more for a vanilla pair of socks. 
as opposed to a patterned pair. So I'm gonna do that this afternoon, just get them separated onto separate needles and see if that helps. All right, this one is one I was like going back and forth with. I have two projects in here. And this is, I did not take these out earlier and look at them. So we're, we're doing this together. I was so on the Musselberg train last year. Oh my gosh, Dexter, I feel like you're going to roll right off of the sofa. Um, that I started to, and the plan was for them to be Christmas gifts for this year. I didn't have anyone in mind. It was just whoever. Then that's, you know, who will get them. So here they are. And they're both about at the same spot, I think. This is Gray Matter, I believe, by Breaking Yarn. Love this gray. Love her yarn. This one, I cannot remember off the top of my head. Oh. I have the tag magpie heart of glass is the colorway name so i think the reason that these got put away is that this this one in particular now that i'm looking at them i don't think it was this one i was just not happy with the fabric that i was getting I've made these be hats before and I'm using the same needles, everything. I think it's just that this is a cashmere yarn, which is amazing. It's an amazing feeling yarn, but it was just not giving me the fabric that I like for these Musselberg hats. This one is great. I was thinking it was both of them, but no, this one is good. And I've used um, breaking yarn before and never had any issues. So this one's good. This one, I'm not happy with the fabric. It's, I have so much of it done though. It's, it's like, is it ridiculous to take it out? I'm just really not happy with. The fabric on it. I feel like it's definitely bigger than the other ones that I've made and that it's definitely because my gauge seems to be looser with this yarn. <clears throat> And it's more drapey, which like I said is, I feel like the yarn and it's gorgeous and great, but I am not sure that I like it for this hat. I feel like if I had went down a needle size and got a little bit of a denser fabric, it would be great for a hat. And I know the hat's double thick when you're all set, all is said and done. I'm just not entirely happy with it. So do I rip this out? I just feel like it is so much larger. It is so much larger. That's why I feel that way. Like, look at how much bigger that hat is than this one. It's not going to work. <laughs> so I think I'm, I'm gonna frog this one. So I think that I will finish this one. I don't know who it will be a gift for, for somebody. Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's frog it, get it over with. Finish that one for a gift for somebody, I don't know. But this one, we're just gonna move on. It's okay. This feels really nice, I must say, <laughs> to go through and kind of reevaluate and say, okay, is this project still bringing me joy? And if the answer is no, why do I still have it on my needles? Now I am itching to finish my sweaters because the weather's been so cool. So I think I need to also decide which one I want to focus on first. My Arbor Reel does have most of it done. So that should probably be the one I 
go to first and just finish it off. I'm on the ribbing on the body, so the body's almost done and then the sleeves won't take long and then I can wear it as soon as it's done, more than likely. So I need to throw that into the mix. That might be good TV knitting, I guess, in the evenings. So I'm gonna frog this. <laughs> I see Dexter, he's playing with, oh, Calvin's back there too. He's playing with a toy. He's chewing on something he should be chewing on, so. Hello, sir. Calvin. Hello. Now Dexter's like, what you doing? We did get our sectional. I haven't even really showed you guys yet, did have I? I think I talked about this on the last vlog. So we did get our sectional. It fits perfectly. Actually gave us a lot more room back in that area than we had before. So that's nice. But the sectional's been really nice. It's comfortable for everybody. We all fit. Dexter loves it. Gracie loves it. Calvin and Emmy love it. The whole zoo loves it. <laughs> Except for Chloe. She doesn't get on the furniture. Um, I don't think she could anymore, our old girl. But yes, Dexter. I think I need to go play with this, bo this boy and finish frogging this. It's a little while later. I split off, well, I undid the oh dear i just tossed the yarn on the floor <laughs> i undid the hat i split the two at a time socks onto their own separate needles and did a couple of rounds on those i added in the three minis that i had i have all these ends to weave in um on this sock but the ones that i'm doing to finish off the sock i'm using the weave and steven method method that's how I've been weaving in a lot of ends lately. So I just did that. Um, and that's how I'll finish out. The sock is using that method of weaving in ends. I have five more minis I think I need to add. I just counted and I've already forgot. Five more stripes. And I'm out of minis that were in this bag. I've used all of the ones that I had in there. So what I'm going to do is Go grab the Crazy Sock Lady leftovers, add a stripe of that, and then each project that I finish throughout the rest of this month, I will add a mini in. So I have five more stripes before I begin the toe decreases, and I did stripe the toe decreases as well. So I'll have these on the needles for a little while longer. I debated just finishing out with the Crazy Sock Lady, finishing the whole rest of this foot with the Crazy Sock Lady and being done. I really thought that's what I was gonna do, but.